this coil with the field piece DR58 and with the amp probe. RLD-1. Okay, field piece is ready. Okay, let's see what the amp probe does. Got the amp probe here. And I trust the sample. Okay. Okay. This coil's got a bad leak. So both the amp probe. This is a carrier air handler. It is from 2008. The blower wheel's dirty and she needs a coil at minimum and a pull and clean on the blower. Hey guys, this uh, video was filmed on my phone, but um, I was impressed with the uh, field piece, DR58. I went ahead and purchased it. I wanted to try it out. And I have complete faith in that amp probe because my dad has that amp probe. He's had it for years and it has been a great leak detector for him. I know other people that have it and they've had nothing but success with it. Maybe next time I'll test the field piece uh, against the H10 or against the D, uh, the Stratus. But when you got two league detectors like that hitting off in the same spot as hard as they were, that's a really good leak. That was a two-ton system. And she also had a three-ton system on that house. And the three-ton was leaking as well. I didn't get any video of leak testing that one. But... The field piece picked up three really small leaks. So I, I remembered where they were and I went back with the amp probe and the amp probe hit off in, in the same three spots as the field piece. So I really think that field piece DR58 heated diode is a good leak detector. I do, I think it's a good leak detector. Um, You know, I did two of them today, two coils and because, you know, a lot of people were saying some things about that about the field piece leak detector, but I don't know if it was the DR82, the infrared. I don't use infrared leak detectors. The uh, field, the uh, amp probe is heated diode as well. But I really think that that DR58 is a good leak detector. I mean, the amp probe hit off everywhere that the field piece hit off. And that little two-ton coil that I did film, it probably had more leaks in it, but... Uh, when I find a leak that big, I, I don't go any further. I'm not going to go searching that whole coil when I find something like that. It's, there, it's, it's pointless. So this was just a short video to compare the uh, field piece DR58 against the Amp Probe RLD-1. And I was impressed with the field piece. Uh, and I'll continue to use it. 
I like the field piece because uh, you don't have to get right on the leak. Like it, it, it'll start beeping real slow, it, and then as you move closer, it gets faster. Like with the with the H10 and some of these other leaks, and the Stratus is bad about this. You have to get right on the leak for it to hit off. But with that field piece, it'll catch that leak from a long way off. That way you can kind of say, okay, well, let me move this way. And as you move that way, it'll get a little bit faster and a little bit faster. And I like that about the field piece. I don't like that the, the H10 is like that sometimes too. And the Stratus, you got to get right on top of it before it'll find it. The field piece finds it from a long way off. And I really like that. Okay, we have another coil here that I, that I suspect is leaking. It's a train 2TGB3F42, three and a half ton. I'm gonna set y'all up. This time we'll be testing the field piece against the H10. I gotta charge the battery on this field piece, it's going dead. Okay, the field piece is ready. Picking up something down here on the bottom. Something in that back corner. Okay, let's see what the H10 does.
sånt små... Sorry, I had mage 10 on small. Yep, but it's picking it up. I think I can trust this uh, field piece. Let's go under here. Picked up a little bit. Let's see what the field piece does. Good size leak right there.
Well, I'm pretty impressed with it. Everything this picked up, this picked it up, and that's good enough for me, because this is the king. So I, uh, I trust this thing. Model DR58, good leak detector, I recommend it.